Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Katrina, and today we're going to be doing lots of things around the farm. So it has been unseasonably warm. Like we're in November and we're talking 20, 21 degrees, which I don't know for you Americans what that is exactly. 70s, I guess. Uh, but very, very warm, like t-shirt weather, and um, I would say it's record-breaking. We definitely don't normally have weather like this. So yesterday was actually my birthday, 29 again. Um, we won't tell you real numbers because 29 and holding is what I'm sticking with. And um, it was such beautiful weather, and we actually were begging corn, which, you know, it's not maybe my favorite thing to have on my birthday, but it was kind of exciting around here. Um, my parents were over, and uh, so it was still a good day, and I will insert some footage of bagging corn and going to check it out because uh, Levi loved it. It was the first time he'd seen them bag corn, and it's only done uh, like once a year, so it's definitely an exciting time, and there was a lot of us watching and seeing how it was all done. <laughs> So just to try and walk you through what actually happens, the combine harvests the uh, corn kernels out of the field and then it goes into these wagons and the wagons come and bring the corn over to the corn bagger. They dump into what we call the auger, it goes into a machine, it grinds it up and then it puts it all in this big white bag and so that bag is when it's done is 200 feet long and then during the winter we can just scoop out the corn to feed to the cows. So there is multiple tractors and wagons and so after one is done it leaves, the next one pulls up and they just do that all day long. <laughs> So once the 200 feet is filled up, the bagger is taken off and I will show you what the uh, ground up corn looks like. Are you doing dishes? Yeah. Wow. Oh, you've got that apart? Do you want to do this one? And watch that one? No. No? It's a big one. Do you think you could do that one? So Levi is very big into washing dishes. I obviously have to wash them afterwards, but that's sort of something he's very into right now is washing dishes. And on that same note, this here tray is one of the birthday presents I got from my parents. I did ask for it. Um, I think you know that you're getting old when you start asking for things like a dish tray set uh, for a birthday present. <laughs> but I'm very happy with it. I know it's totally random, but like it doesn't have little pieces sticking out. Like, so this is the old one. And these little ridges here are good if you're putting in plates, maybe bowls, but if you're putting in cups, it kind of limits how you can organize it and how much you can fit. Whereas this one, I can fit everything in, and it's so easy to organize. Are you playing hide and go seek? Where's Levi? Is he on here? No. There he is! Yeah. So Levi is obsessed with playing hide and go seek, or at least his version of hide and go seek. Pretty much if he can't see you, you can't see him. So if he tilts his head down and doesn't make eye contact, that means he's hiding and you can't see him. If I contact, then you can't see him. Is he in here? No. So yeah. Will just stopped in for a second breakfast, and now Levi and I are going to head out and do some chores. Henry is already sleeping in the stroller, so that's perfect. So let's get some stuff done. So 
little, I'm just filling up some waters because uh, we don't have a tap outside, so we fill up jugs of water to feed the animals. And I see the tractors are driving by out there, getting a bale of hay for some of the cows. Mm -hmm. We have a go on. Yeah. All right. Let's put your coat on. Put your coat on. Mm -hmm. I'm So I found Levi's winter boots in anticipation for the cold weather that is coming. Though at this moment it's probably about 15 degrees and it's supposed to be really hot today. Um, but now he wants to wear winter boots. So this is, you know, life when you have a toddler. You're looking for the other winter boot? I don't know where it is. So the weather is so, so nice that we definitely have to let the bunnies run around outside. And because Hazelnut is only a half-grown little Netherland dwarf, she's got lots of energy. So I definitely try to let her out every day in this nice weather. He's calling her Hazelnut. <laughs> he likes to drop the leaves in. She's pretty tolerant. I like to play in the leaves, so I figure it's probably all right. So like I said, such nice weather. I'm going to bring out the mom and the little babies that we have and let them play outside. They're super fun to watch run around. You see hazelnut? She's playing with the leaves? Yeah. Aww. So before I put away all of the extra food dishes and stuff for winter, I like to wash them. And a lot of them are not really that dirty. They just, you know, general dirt on them. So Levi is doing the first round of washing. He loves doing dishes, whether inside or outside. So. He's been working on some of these uh, ready for the past couple of days, but every day he works on a few more. You're taking the leaves out? All right. Good job. And your scrub brush is there, too, if you need it. Get the dirt out. Good job. are still in this cage because I haven't been able to build something secure for them but I have been downsizing so there is less in here than there used to be. So this cage here is my blue and well was my blue and splash silkies and I've downsized on them majorly so I've got two blue ones left in here and one partridge baby. Sold everyone else. temperature here. It is like, I think it's about 10.30 in the morning, and it's almost 20 degrees in the shade, November 8th. So I don't know where you live, but around here, that is crazy. We never get weather like that in November. So we are loving it. So since we're over by the pigs, I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, for our anniversary, my husband bought me 
two of these raspberry bushes. I'm sorry, the sun is so bright, it's hard to video today, but uh, maybe you can see this one better. So my dad actually planted them, which is so awesome, and he put some wire and some posts around them just to make sure that we don't have any wild rabbits or something chewing on them. But yeah, we've got two raspberry plants in sort of the back corner of the garden area. So I wanted to show you what else my husband got me for our anniversary, and that is these two trees in the middle here. They are peach trees. And so the two trees on the side there are apple trees. He got them for me for, I think not this past Mother's Day, but the Mother's Day before. So this is kind of becoming our orchard. The big tree over there is also an apple tree. So we've got three apple trees and two peach trees planted here, and they should be a nice orchard in the future. Another very recent addition is rhubarb plants. So my parents had friends that were selling and couldn't take the rhubarb plants with them. And so they were able to transplant these. You can't obviously see anything at the moment because they're dormant, but there's three rhubarb plants planted here um, in the corner of this kind of um, area where I've had chickens, where I had to empty the chickens out of because of predators, but a good spot to have these rhubarb plants. Um, so hopefully they will do well. See how it goes. So these are my old English bantams that I hatched myself this year. And I need to downsize on them, but I can't tell who's a rooster and who's a hen. And usually by this age you'd be able to tell, but I don't know. I'm thinking this one here is a rooster, but every time I look at them I think differently. But I'm starting to really think he's a rooster. But the other four, I have no idea. Are you turning the wheels? You're going that way? Yeah, are you turning them? Using your steering wheel? Yeah. Levi's been very big into using his tractor lately. It doesn't work? Doesn't work? Oh, I guess you'll have to fix it. Levi lost interest after a while, which is fine, that's what two-year-olds do. But I've got a lot of the dishes clean, so that way he can be packed away for winter. Look who woke up! We got him set up outside because it is such a nice day. And he really likes to sit up and look around. He doesn't like to be laying down. So this is a good way to do it. Keep him safe. Henry! Are you playing outside? Hi, sweetheart! Hi! Show you the baby bunnies. So here's mama. And I have to clean their cage. That's what I'm in the process of doing. But look how tiny they are. Look at these little ones. They're so sweet. They're still pretty scared at this point. Rabbits are not naturally trusting, so they gotta first learn that it's okay to trust humans. Um, I don't normally let them play outside quite this young. But because we are having such beautiful weather, I'm going to let them go outside to play for the very first time. So 
they had their play outside. So now the queen cage. So now they're exploring because, of course, everything smells different. <laughs> this pretty girl here, she's also pregnant. She's made a nest. She's not due yet, but she's ahead of the game. Right? Right, sweetie? So we're headed to my in-laws for lunch today because of my birthday. So that's what we're going to do now. Are you ready to go, Henry? Yeah. I've got this liner in here. Thick liner because we even had snow. Um, but now it's definitely too hot for a liner today. Oh no, the truck's broke. Can I flip it over? Get here. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, the oh no, the truck's running away. It's a good thing you wore snow pants, huh, for raking leaves. So Levi had a great time raking leaves at Grandma's house. There is lots of big trees there, so there was lots of leaves to play in. He also found a pair of snow pants and insisted on wearing them. So here he is wearing <laughs> snow pants, and it's like 20 degrees out. Can you do it again? Well, we're home from Grandma's. We ended up staying there a lot longer than I thought we were going to, which is fine. The kids were having a good time. Um, but now it is like supper time. We come home, and... Everyone is miserable, the house is a mess, the animal chores had to quickly be done, and Levi needs some food. Um, tell me moms, I'm not alone in this. Evenings are always the hardest, and of course, being a farmer's wife, my husband is off to milk the cows. So he at least helped me get the kids into the van before we left Grandma's house, but um, there's just been a lot of screaming right now, and I didn't put, pick up the camera because you wouldn't have been able to hear me, but I'm attempting to give Levi cottage cheese for supper yet again. Um, if you will agree to taking his boots off, he's been standing by the door for the last 10 minutes. All right, you got your boots off so you can have some cottage cheese? All right, you can just leave them there and then come sit down for your cottage cheese. No, no, we don't wear the boots in the house. Take the boot off. No, no, take the boot off. You're going to make the floor dirty. goodness for cottage cheese for supper. Right? What happens when you come home at supper time and everyone's a mess? You eat cottage cheese and maybe I'll find you something else to go with it. Does that sound good? Cereal? Yep. You could probably eat some cereal from breakfast. Yep. Parenting win, right? Feeding yourself. Yeah, you can put it in your cottage cheese. Go for it. So I wanted to show you guys what I got for my birthday from Will. So that I got these two plants and they're called a Hascap. Hascap? Hascap. Um, apparently they're kind of like a mix between a blueberry and a raspberry. I don't know. I definitely have no idea. But um, they sound interesting so I'm very curious and always happy to have something else to become a little bit more self-sufficient and grow our own food. So we will be planting our house caps. You yeah. made a mess? Yeah. Why did you make a mess? Yeah. Mom, gave me mess. Mom gave you a cookie for special after you had your cottage cheese. And then while I was nursing, you made a huge mess. You're going on the mat because the floor is covered in cookie crumbs. All right, well, guys, I'm going to end things here. Days don't always go as planned, but hopefully you still found this enjoyable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe. I have lots of Christmas content coming up, so you definitely don't want to miss that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!